The worst part about this movie is that I can't watch it on like a big IMAX screen with giant freaking speakers just blasting at me. I want to feel the vibrations of the explosions like, like going on my skin. My skin ripples like that. But instead, I'm just sitting at home watching because it's streaming. That's cool too, I guess. All Quiet on the Western Front is a remake of the original film of the same name. And pretty much it's the story of a German boy who serves in World War I from his recruitment to the end of his service. It is a German film, so make sure you watch it in German with the subtitles, because we are subtitle elitist Hey, here. don't you watch Naruto? Nope, 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 shut up, shut up. No, I don't, no, I don't, I do. This movie is tough. It's a brutal watch. It's a pretty sad watch. Granted, it is a movie about World War I, and it'd be a little weird if that's, if it was like a happy movie. And these darker subject movies are kind of expected when it comes to war. But still, I think it can be one of the harder to watch war movies of the last like decade. Not because it's especially brutal, like it, it is brutal, but not because it's like, it's not like Terrifier 2, it's not incredibly graphic, but because you get attached to these characters, you see them at their most naive and when they're buying into all the propaganda of like, oh, sign up, we can all go and be war heroes. You see them there and then you see them slowly realize that's not what this is and that can be, it's sad, but also just watch the things that happens to them, the things that they have to do, it's pretty tough. The theme and like message of the movie is very anti-war and I thought that they pulled that off incredibly well. It is a movie of gray. It doesn't really deal so much with which side is right. There are no heroes and villains. In fact, the only real like enemy villain of this movie is war in general. There are many German characters who see that war is awful. There are many that don't. And the same can kind of be said for every other nation in the movie. And that's probably very reflective of how it was actually like. You have those two concurrent stories of like the douchebag generals who don't really value the lives of the soldiers who are fighting for them. And then we see the soldiers who have friends and families and hopes and dreams. They're just killed in an instant. And that too is incredibly hard to watch. On a filmmaking level though, like a technical level, this is one of the best films I've seen all year. The directing, the cinematography, the editing, all of it is top notch. It's truly just a beautiful and well-made film. It's patient too, which I like. There aren't too many like fast edits or cutting away to things after someone gets stabbed. Every shot feels long and drawn out, but in a way that's to hammer home these points, it helps a lot of the emotion of these moments just really sink in. There's this one scene in like the second half of the movie where Paul's in this crater with a French soldier, and that scene did not have to be as long as it was. I definitely think that most other movies it would have made that scene a lot shorter. It's incredibly uncomfortable, but I think that's kind of the point. These moments aren't fleeting, and while the choices our characters make, they happen so fast, they happen just, it's their instincts because that's how they've been trained. The repercussions of these actions don't fly by so quick, they stick with the characters forever, and it's incredibly effective because a lot of these moments are still stuck with me too. We get a lot of wide shots highlighting the scope of the fallen soldiers, how many are doomed for the same fate, and of course just the scale and scope of these battles. It's shot beautifully like I said, but it has a eerie feeling and vibe to it, and it gives you time to reflect on all these crazy moments you're experiencing. The music is really great too for the most part. There's this one like musical theme or note that plays throughout the movie. It felt a little weird. It felt off. It felt like Mad Max kind of music and not World War One music, but not to the point where it like ruined anything. And also like maybe that's just me. Maybe you'll like it. The performances are all great too. When I saw this movie, I was like, okay, cool. They're all German actors. I'm down for some new performances, some new actors to dazzle me because the only German actor I know is Daniel Brühl. And of course, oh, okay, yeah, there he is. He is great, but honestly, the whole cast is. I don't wanna butcher all these actors' names, so I'm just gonna put them up on screen. But long story short, everyone's amazing. Paul and the actor who plays him was fantastic. I love how they take such a naive and young, like almost like kid, and they show just him being beat down and worn down throughout this war until He's almost like a different person by the end of the movie. Katz was a great character too, and his performance was also great. And I love that as dark and just sad as this movie gets, there are still genuine moments to relieve the tension. And for us to get to know these characters better, I really like that. Overall, I thought this movie was fantastic. War films, we've seen so many of them, they have to keep things fresh and interesting to be innovative. And I thought this one did that. Great characters, great filmmaking, and it delivers its message in a way that is effective without being like, patronizing and forced. I thought it was fantastic. I'm gonna give All Quiet on the Western Front an 8.8, .8, and I'm also gonna put it in S tier right in front of Banshees. Thank you for watching. Here are more reviews. Check them out. Watch the movie. Subtitles though, we're not like that.